So a lot of people are now starting to enroll for the November 2023 CFA Level 1 preparation. And often they're asking, is this enough time? So right now it's March, the exam's gonna be in November, it's more than six months. Is that enough time to prepare for my CFA Level 1 or Level 2? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking exclusively about CFA Level 1 preparation, but we will create another one for Level 2 and Level 3. So CFA level one preparation, the often used wisdom is that you need to prepare for 300 hours, right? So 300 hours, is that enough? That is the first question we need to ask. Is this a one size fits all? If someone just passed out of the 12th standard, is 300 hours enough? Someone who is a chartered accountant, for them, is 300 hours too much? So that is the question we will try to address here in this video. So at Fin Trainers, we get a variety of students, students with varying degrees of financial knowledge and expertise. So it is not always a one size schedule that will suit them. So we customize the learning plan and the schedule. So here we have five categories of students. So in the slide, you will see that we have the level of knowledge of the students and have divided them into five categories. The first one are the experts. So these are typically people who have worked in the finance field for a few years, at least. They are chartered accountants or they might have done an MBA in finance, etc. So they are well seasoned finance professionals. For them, 300 hours is enough. Sometimes even 200 hours to 300 hours will work. But to be safe, let's say 300 hours is enough. Then, there are people who are not yet probably experts, but somewhere there, you know, they're getting there. These are CA interns, people who have had some working experience in asset management or investment banking, so they understand it. So for them, I would recommend somewhere close to 400 hours of preparation. So remember now we are talking about hours, we are not talking about the months that's required to prepare. So I will come to that. I will address that in just a few minutes. But so the second level, the people who are slightly below the expert level probably need 400 hours. Then the average students, people who have you know done BCom. So this is our typical student, right? Like who has just done their undergrad and want to want to get a professional CFA designation. So for them, I recommend something closer to 500 hours of preparation because they still won't understand the nuances. They don't have work experience. So 500 hours is the rule of thumb, I recommend. And someone who is now pursuing the undergrad, their first year, second year of their BCom, BBA, etc. So you need a little bit more, probably 600 hours, right? And if you are just finished your 12th standard and you want to enroll in a CFA preparation, 700 hours, even 800 hours is required because you still don't understand what's the market order, what is equity, even what is the asset classes, what are the types of asset classes. So we have to start from the CFA bootcamp and then take it really slowly. And there's also no rush for you because you need three years of work experience to become a CFA charter. So you have enough time to prepare and pass the exams. So why not make use of it, understand the concepts and pass the exam in the first attempt. That is what we want at Fin Trainers. We really take pride in the high success rate that we have with all of our students. Now, let's think about how to convert these hours into the months required for preparation, right? So we talked about the skill level. There are five skill levels. In terms of time availability, I'm going to say there are three kinds of people. People who are working, right? The working professionals usually tend to have the least amount of time. And in my experience, I think somewhere between 10 to 15 hours a week is all that they can spend for CFA preparation, right? Then there are students who are full-time students and they also will pursue the CFA designation for them, they are probably able to do somewhere close to 20 hours a week, apart from the classes, examination, etc. right? And then there are folks 
who only study for CFA, right? So they have graduated and before starting work, they want to study and clear at least one or two CFA levels. They can probably spend effectively 30 hours. So they're probably sitting and studying longer, but the efficiency drops after a certain amount of study time. So I would say in theory, 30 to 35 hours a week is what they are on average able to study. So we had the number of hours required for each level of skill, and then we have the amount of time. So if you combine these two, right, so you are getting this new chart, right? So you see where is your skill level and how much time, what's your situation? Do you have a family and you're working? So then you're probably only able to spend 10 hours a week. And if your skill level is average, that means you need to spend something like 500 hours and you have 10 hours a week, which means you need like 50 weeks, almost a year to prepare. Whereas if you are a student and uh, your skill level is average, you know, you will have 20 hours a week, you probably only need six to eight months to prepare. So two factors, your skill level and availability of time, right? So think about this. And when you are here at Fin Trainers, we help you understand you know, what is the right examination time for you to appear so that you clear the examination in the first go. That's what really matters.